Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Cricket 22 video. Finally, we've got some gameplay, a brand new trailer here, talking about what's new in the controls and game mechanics. I'm going to ignore Barjo's uh, sort of voiceover as normal uh, and just go into all of the gameplay shots that we got uh, in this new trailer. We can see uh, some of the new controls in action that we sort of saw in the previous trailer, where they talk about sort of the uh, the new bowling controls and batting, uh, it was mostly new bowling controls rather than new batting controls. Uh, and there's also a new run out uh, feature and possibly different ways uh, for catching uh, as well in the game, uh, like at least the camera angles here. Also, the zing bales didn't go off then. Where was the zing? Uh, clearly pre-release gameplay at this point, and I think it's probably in a debug mode. But uh, here's our first look at the new run out system for direct hits. Uh, you sort of have to pick and choose. It goes into like this little slow-mo quick time event and you try and get the uh, direct hit throw. Uh, I'm gonna talk in a little bit more detail in a sec on that one. Uh, but yeah, a couple of little interesting changes to the gameplay and how it works and um, very excited to really actually get into a game and play a game. Also, this screenshot came out earlier this week. I think this might be a loading screen, but uh, uh, that was just a little minor thing that I was like, oh, I wonder if that's interesting. Um, if, if we get these types of things, loading screens, it looks like one, it probably isn't, um, but it could just be a graphic someone made up. All right, uh, let's get into the new run out uh, technique today. So basically how it works, you go into this little slow-mo, you got to pick, do you want to go bowls end, keepers end? I mean, right here, this is a terrible run, by the way, because they've barely left uh, they're creasing, <laughs> the person's gonna throw it at the stumps. Um, so really either end is a good choice here. So you pick left bumper, right bumper, deciding on which end you wanna go, and then you have to choose, and then and then you like choose the power, so you like hold down the button, uh, and if you get the direct hit, you get the run out, uh, pretty much like that. Uh, also, weird keeper animation still in here. I'd like to see the keepers come up and collect the ball at the stumps. Uh, a little bit cleaner uh, than in previous games. Also, just wanted to point out another thing here. Again, another terrible run. You can see this guy just leaving as Maxwell's releasing the throw. Uh, bottom right-hand corner, a new little picture-in-picture -picture display of the guys running between the wickets rather than that little overlay we had previously uh, of the guys sort of just uh, like a 2D sort of running animation we had previously. But now we've got like a little picture-in-picture. Uh, of a different camera angle of how that works. We also got some uh, Big Bash looks at the, the Big Bash kits in Cricket 22. Uh, I'll go through these now as well. I mean, this sort of came out earlier in the week. I haven't really been following. But yeah, it gives you a bit of a look of the, some of the celebrations that you're going to see uh, from wickets and things like that, as well as some of the kits, obviously, for those teams who are in the Big Bash. Uh, and we're going to finally get the Big Bash, I guess, licensed in uh, Cricket 22, which we want to see. Uh, which is great news for all of those people who really wanted to play the Big Bash, uh, both in career mode and I guess as a standalone uh, mode competition. There's uh, Usman Kawaja there in the, uh, the Sydney Thunder Strip or kit uh, as well, which I think rounds out the kits that we've got here uh, for Cricket 22. But let's go back to some of the gameplay. I mean, it looks a lot sharper. There was a nice little ramp there. Uh, I'm not too sure about the controls. I think I might stick with maybe the old ones just because, you know, you get used to them after using them for a while. So uh, that's something that I'll probably look at when I go through the nets maybe a little bit later on in the week. Um, there was also a little nice wicket animation there uh, that came up down the bottom. It said wicket uh, rather than... Uh, it, it just everything looks a bit cleaner. The UI looks a bit cleaner. That looks in 60 frames, which... I think it was an update for Cricket 19 which brought it to 60 frames on uh, the console. Uh, but like, I'm, I'm just keen. I'm keen to, to actually give it a crack and give it a go. And I think some of the things that with the controls, they might be a little bit um, tentative at the start. For those who have been playing the previous games, might take a little bit of getting used to. Um, and the new run out system, I really hope that if you are playing a test match, it doesn't turn into a slow-mo. Uh, run every single ball. I think that can maybe get a little bit tedious. Uh, but other than that, I'm excited to give it a crack. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.